All right, this is the last day of Advent of Code. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's see what the problem is. Combo Breaker. Uh, see, two numbers, okay. Uh, what are we supposed to do here? What encryption key? Transforming with a loop size. Uh, Start with one. I see. Okay. Turn something. Maybe that many things to try. Oh, 
Hey. Uh, cool. So that was the last day. Uh, it looks like I did okay. Uh, how do points work today? I see. I get points for clicking the button at the end of part two. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, so I finished, well, it's unclear, I guess. Right now I'm in 14th. Maybe I'll fall a bit as other people finish. Um, but, you know, decent uh, performance overall this year. I had a, I don't know, <laughs> didn't do, do, do too well on the last week, I think. But um, anyway, let's talk about day 25. Uh, so what's going on here? Um, so we pretty much just need to follow the directions. Well, these numbers are kind of big, actually. Yeah, okay. So we did need to do uh, past exponentiation, which Python conveniently has built in. Okay, but anyway, let's uh, figure out what's going on. So we have this transform operation, uh, which takes two arguments, which are the subject number and the loop size. And uh, what it does is it computes the subject number to the power of the loop size modulo 20, 20, 12, 27. Um, Right. If you just think about what these steps are, right? It's step. This value starts at one, and then it gets multiplied by the subject number, loop size times, and then it gets modded out by this. Or it gets modded out on every iteration, but that doesn't actually matter. Um, so that was the one optimization that I did. Is instead of sort of following those steps one by one, I did use um, Python's pow function, which uh, does fast exponentiation. You could also, I'm sure, do this with um, exponentiation by squaring, which I think I showed earlier. Uh, um, so yeah, I'll just show that version, I guess. Uh, but it's nice that Python has a button. Um, two, right, so this is the key step, um, is that if the exponent is even, then you can divide it by two. Uh, and raise x squared to that power, and that um, saves you time. Uh, so this should also work reasonably fast. Um, right, so once you have this operation, uh, you basically need to brute force um, the exponent to find the secret loop size, right? So you're given uh, that the seven to the secret power is the public key, which is part of the input, um, and you need to find the power. Uh, so the mod here is small enough that you can just brute force, right? It has to be um, basically less than this mod, or actually less than Euler's Totion function of this mod. Um, and this number is not so big, right? It's only 20 million, so brute force is feasible. Uh, so that was pretty fast. Um, there may be some better way to do it, but I don't think so, actually. Anyway, definitely probably this is the easiest one to code. Uh, right. And then the same thing for the other number in the input. Uh, and then you just need to raise uh, the input number to the other guy's loop size. So actually, you only need to calculate one of them. Um, and that is all that they're asking, they're asking you to do. So it's basically like breaking, this is the kind of thing you would do if to break like real encryption, although <laughs> the key size would be like a number that was thousands of digits long instead of a number that's eight digits long and then it's much harder to break, right? This brute force would obviously not work. Um, yeah, okay, so this might be slower. Probably like their Python or their power function is implemented in C rather than Python, so it is faster. Uh, it's the advantage of the Python library. Yeah, okay, so that's a lot faster. So that's that's nice that Python does this. Um, right, so this is the mod pow that I spent most of the time talking about. Uh, this is just reading the input, right? There's just two integers on different lines. Um, just, you know, brute force search for the first exponent, brute force search for the second exponent, and then compute the answer, um, which They claimed was the same in this case. Uh, I'm not totally sure how you construct the input to have that property. But, 
anyway, just to be true. Um, just print out the answer instead of everything. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for day 25. Um, relatively straightforward brute force. Uh, you just need to know about this fast exponentiation thing, or know that Python has it built in, I guess. Uh, no five, yep. Cool. So that's it for day 25, and that's it for Advent of Code. Um, thank you for following along with me, and uh, yeah, hopefully um, you learned something from these videos, and uh, I hope you go solve all the problems yourself if you haven't already. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs>